Katya. Uh, my name is Ron Wood. I teach photography at OCAD University in Toronto. And uh, this is a camera that one of my students gave me many years ago, a Disney issue from the uh, 60s. I uh, add this to my collection. I really like this camera. So today I'm going to talk to you about film and developing film. Um, this is a roll of film. For those of you that have never seen one, it has uh, sprocket holes and a little skinny part at the beginning. And the film is all wound inside a cassette. And my students, when they, uh, after they've exposed their film, they have to develop it uh, with a series of chemicals. And that is done in this gadget, which is called a developing tank, which has a number of parts to it. Uh, you have the lid, which keeps all the chemicals in when you're developing. And there's this funnel-shaped part, which helps pouring all the chemicals into the tank. And then inside, we have uh, reels. And these are what the film is loaded onto. And the reels have two halves, which move independently. And that's actually part of the loading process. So I'm going to show you how this is done. Um, the loading of the film onto the reel has to be done in total darkness. So we have a number of rooms uh, at OCAD uh, next to the film processing area that are totally blackened out. And by blackened out, I mean after you've been in there for 10 minutes, you cannot see your hand in front of your face. And it has to be that dark for loading the film because the film is taken out of the cassette and wound onto this reel. And any light coming into the room would damage the film. So the way the film is extracted from the cassette is we get a can opener, a can piercer, or this is actually um, uh, a device that was made for um, uh, uh, developing film. Lift up the flat end of the cassette and the film is taken out of the cassette. Uh, and remember, this is done in total darkness. Oh, dropping parts here. Um, the film is attached to a center core and um, at the beginning of the film there's a skinny part called the leader and that's for loading the film into the camera that has to be cut off straight remember total darkness and then that uh, end of the film is loaded onto the reel now on the reel there are two little flanges which you line up parallel and that is the gateway into the reel so the film is then uh, started on the track and load, pushed in on the track. Once it's about one inch inside the track, ball bearings grip the film so that I don't have to push it in anymore. So what happens is we go like this, the ball bearing grips the film and a series of short little jerks spiral the film on a track and you keep doing this until you get to the end of the roll. It's 36 exposure rolls, you keep doing this. And when you get to the end of the film, uh, the film is taped to the center core. Keep rolling, keep rolling. So the film is taped to the center core and that has to be cut off. And the reason you don't peel the tape off is because in the dark, if you peel the tape off, you can actually see a little static spark. And that's light, and that's not a good thing. So in the dark, again, you don't want to cut your fingers. You have to be very careful. You cut the uh, film right next to the center core and that's because you don't want to lose that last frame. Sometimes that 36th, 37th frame, that's the one that's going to make you a million bucks. So you don't want to cut it in half. So you cut the film right next to the center core. You give a couple extra winds so that the end of the film is right on the track as well. This goes on to an essential part of the tank, which is the center core of the tank. And it's the center core of the tank that actually makes the tank light tight because all the processing of the film, the chemicals going in and out of the tank, is done under normal illumination. It's just the loading that's done in darkness. So the reel goes on to the center core, down to the bottom, goes back into the tank like so. This funnel shaped part goes in. And I always tell my students, make sure that you lock it. So you have to turn it clockwise to lock it so that this doesn't fall out during the processing. And then the cap goes on. And, um, and that's how the loading is done. And then they come out of the dark. And uh, they do all the processing under normal illumination. And that's how the film is uh, developed.